What's up guys, Jesse here, and this is going to be my everyday tech carry for 2021. Now, this isn't necessarily what I'm going to be carrying with me every single day. Obviously, it'll depend on what I'm doing that day, but this is kind of like the maximum amount of tech that I would carry with me on any normal circumstance. If you guys watched my desk setup video, which by the way, if you haven't, you should go check that out. I'll link it down below in the description you'll know that I don't necessarily recommend everything that's on my desk. Like a lot of the stuff on there I just got a while ago and haven't really gotten around to replacing. But this on the other hand, like what I carry with me on a daily basis, I'm a lot more picky about and I actually do recommend anything that's in here. It's kind of like how in spaceships they gotta make every ounce count because each of those ounces cost a certain amount of dollars. In my everyday carry, because I'm gonna be carrying it around, everything that's in there has gotta be there for a purpose. So let's start this video off by talking about what's in my pockets. So my phone of choice right now is the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. I did have the Z Fold 2 for a couple of months, but I kind of came to the conclusion that it's just not really for me. And if you guys want a more detailed analysis of how I came to that conclusion, then you can watch my videos about it. But yeah, I've been a fan of the Note line for a long time, and this is kind of the ultimate Note that Samsung has ever made. It's got a great big beautiful 120Hz display, great battery life, a solid camera system, the matte glass feels amazing in hand and it has an under display fingerprint sensor which I think in this day and age where we have to wear masks everywhere we go this is a must have feature. So yeah overall very little to complain about this phone and if you like Samsung phones then you're gonna like this one. If you want a more detailed review of this phone like I said I posted a video about it you should check it out. Now moving on my bag of choice is the Peak Design Everyday Backpack. I've got it in the version 120 liter variant and guys I love this bag. The design in my opinion looks really clean and futuristic and it doesn't really look like a camera bag which I think is a good thing and it just has a really nice like techie vibe that really resonates with me but the main reason that I like this bag so much is that despite looking pretty clean and simple it's actually jam-packed with features now I could do like a whole video just on the features of this bag and Peak Design has some really great like one hour long videos just going over all the features on it but to me there are three features that really set this apart from other bags the first is the mag system on top which I feel like strikes a great balance between being super convenient and secure. Like this is going to sound pretty bad but if nobody tells you how to open it then it's kind of unintuitive and most people have a pretty hard time figuring it out. But once someone does show you how to do it then you're like oh my god that's so simple and then it just takes like half a second to open it every time. And the benefit to that is you don't have to worry about people opening the bag without you knowing and stealing your stuff. It's also much quieter than a normal zipper which is just really nice and it uses a ladder system that makes it expandable which comes in really handy. Number two is the level of customizability on this bag is insane. So it has these origami inspired flex fold dividers which just make it really easy to customize this bag to suit your needs. Or if you just want a big empty cavity you can just take them out entirely. So third and probably my favorite thing about this bag is the ability to access it without taking the bag off. The straps are on a kind of swivel system that allow you to basically take one of the straps off off, swing the bag to your side and then you can access the bag through either of the side zips. This feature has changed my life and honestly after using it I refuse to buy any bag that does not have it. So overall I really like this bag the only complaint I have about it though is the size. Like this is advertised as a 20 liter bag which I feel like is a little bit misleading because that's only in its most expanded form. If you have this in like the regular mode it's closer to like 15 liters which is pretty small. And while it does have a slot for a tablet and a computer, I cannot fit both of mine in there. Granted, I do have large versions of both of those things, but I use Sidecar all the time with my Mac and iPad, and it would be really nice to be able to carry both of them instead of having to choose one. They do have a larger 30 liter version, which might solve all of my problems, so if you have a larger laptop like I do, maybe go for that one instead. And speaking of laptops, the one I carry with me is the MacBook Pro 16 inch from 2019. I've got it in space gray with a Core i9 and a terabyte of storage. And honestly, I love this laptop. And if you're wondering about the skin on there, it's by a company called Fish Skins, which I'll link down below in the description, along with everything else in this video. They're not sponsoring this video or anything. I just feel like they make really dope skins. Back to the laptop though, performance is great. This is where I edit all of my 
videos, do all my work, all that. It has the great build quality that MacBooks are known for, great keyboard, great screen, and truly amazing speakers for a laptop. My only complaint about this laptop though is the fan noise. Like sometimes it'll just be sitting there with the screen off not doing anything and then the fans will kick on for no reason. And then when you actually put a load onto it, they get insanely loud, like unpleasantly loud. But other than that, I really like this laptop. I also usually will carry around with me my 12.9 inch iPad Pro. It's the third gen one, not the fourth. And I mostly just carry it around for a sidecar. And I know it sounds kind of silly, but if you've used dual monitors before, then you'll know why it's so nice to be able to have a portable version of that. And like this feature is literally the reason I chose to go for a Mac over a PC laptop. So to charge them up, I also carry a 100 watt GAN charger from a company called Hyper. Now, if you guys haven't tried out these gallium nitride chargers, I highly recommend that you do. They're just a lot smaller and lighter than traditional chargers and who doesn't like smaller and lighter? The cable is from a company called Nomad and they make just some of the best, most rugged cables out there. This is made out of Kevlar and the tips are made out of metal. And I've been on a mission to USB-C, all the things, and I've been doing a pretty good job about that, so this actually charges up everything I have, so I don't really have to carry around anything else. And side note, that was one of the big reasons I could not go for an iPhone because I don't want to carry around another cable. Also in the top compartment, I've got my headphones of choice and those are the Bose noise canceling headphones 700. They're just overall a really great set of headphones for traveling or work or just staying at home. And I've said it before, but if I had unlimited money, I would probably get the AirPods Max because those are just super nice. But the Bose do perfectly fine for everything I need. I like the design, I feel like the sound is decent, and it has great noise cancellation. Also, one of the most comfortable headphones out there. My in-ear headphones of choice though are the AirPods Pro, and those of you in the audience who are a little bit more astute might notice that I have an Android phone and I use AirPods. Yes, you do lose some features like the instant pairing and spatial audio, but for what I do, which is just listening to music or watching videos, they do just fine. And even though they aren't the best sounding, I feel like they're the best combination of sound quality, noise cancellation, and portability. It does not charge via USB-C though, which is a huge bummer, but it does have wireless charging, so I'll give it a pass. In these bottom two components, I've got my camera stuff, the Sony a7 III, along with a 16-35 f2.8 G Master and the 85 1.4 G Master. The a7 III is a great camera, and I shoot all of my YouTube videos on it. This whole talking head portion of this video is shot on the a7 III, and it's a little bit old at this point, like it came out in 2017 or 2018, I can't remember, but when it came out, and I think still to this very day, it is the best bang for the buck, most value for money, full frame mirrorless camera out there. Like if you compare it to its competition, the Canon R6, the a7 III is pretty much a thousand dollars less, and the only thing you're really losing out on is the 4K60. And you can use all of that money that you just saved to buy an extra lens, which is arguably way more important. Which by the way, Sony also has probably the best selection of affordable lens options in the mirrorless market. My only complaint about this camera though is that it does not have a flip out LCD which just frustrates me to no end. Like the downsides for video are pretty obvious, but also for photos, this is a pretty big limitation for me at least. Like a lot of the photos that I shoot are for Instagram, so I shoot them in the portrait orientation, and if you go low or high, you just can't see anything that you're doing. So you just have to take the picture and then hope that everything's in frame and in focus. Anyways, the lenses that I got are the 16 to 35 G Master, which is a great ultra wide lens. I use it for the talking head portions of my videos and the 85 millimeter F1.4 G Master lens, which is a great portrait lens that I use for a lot of different stuff. And I actually do carry both of these lenses with me all the time because you never know when you need them and I just really feel safer having both of them. The last like little things that I carry in my bag are a 10,000 milliamp hour battery, which has wireless charging. You can never have enough power. A microfiber cloth, which is a must have for any tech bag and an extra battery for my Sony a7 III. 
a two terabyte Samsung T7 SSD, and I love it because it's USB, super small, lightweight, and compact. It's also crazy fast, so I keep all of the footage that I get from these YouTube videos on that drive and just edit off of that. That way I don't have to put anything on the internal storage of the laptop, so I don't really have to worry about running out of space. And two terabytes typically will last me through a whole project and I'll just clear it off after every one. Now ideally, I would really like to keep some of that B-roll for future in case I mention a product or something I just have that b-roll ready to go but I just don't have enough money to buy that much storage so this is what I'm doing now. Anyways I also carry around this Anchor USB-C hub which has pretty much anything you would ever need but I mostly just use it for the SD card reader. But if you already have one of these USB-C only laptops you already know what the dongle life is about so I just carry it around because if I never need the extra ports I got them. And I usually keep all of these other little bits and pieces in this separate bag. It's also from Peak Design it's called the Field Pouch and like their other bags it is packed with features but I just like it because it can expand or compact to whatever size you need. It's also got a bunch of little pockets in there that are great for organizing all of those like little miscellaneous items that you might have. So the very last thing that I carry on the outside of the bag is the Peak Design Carbon Fiber Travel Tripod. Now this tripod is like insanely expensive. It's $600, but it's also the best tripod that I've ever used and I really don't regret buying it. And it's pretty much just for one reason and it's how small it can fold down to. Like when you fold it down, the diameter of the tripod is pretty much the same as your average water bottle. So it fits pretty much perfectly into the water bottle holder on the backpack and it pretty much lives there. Like I never take it off and I always bring it with me, which if we're talking about camera gear is probably the most important thing, you know? Like camera gear is no use to you if you just leave it at home. So for that very reason, I feel like it's worth its price. Anyways, that is my everyday tech slash camera carry. And I'm pretty happy with where everything is. The only change that I might make in the near future is maybe a new bag just because like I said, it's a little bit too small for my needs. Other than that, let me know what you guys think. Would you change anything? And also let me know if I forget to link anything in the description because I know when I did my desk setup video, I forgot a lot of stuff and you guys let me know. So I really appreciate that. Also remember to smash that like button. And if you enjoy content like this, think about subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. <laughs>